Hi guys! I have a couple of books to flip through today, kind of like when I did the um, the love pop-up book, but these ones are more like a touch and feel kind of texture books. Um, you can see they're pretty uh, beat up because the book fund, as always, is running super low, so whenever I buy books that I probably won't actually keep, I'll probably end up giving them to somebody who has like kids, uh, especially if they're geeky like me. Um, I usually will just buy the second-hand version, so this one doesn't look too bad. This one's in like really good condition, but the Labyrinth book definitely has some wear and tear on it. But yeah, so I thought I would just take you through these. There's barely any text, like there's hardly any words, but there's a lot of um, textures to feel and they might sound really nice too. So. I've got my usual press on nails. I've actually got children's ones so they fit my fingernails because <laughs> I have quite small hands so these ones actually seem pretty good and they're not getting caught on everything. So I think, should we start with the uh, Labyrinth book? So this is the front, straight to the castle and you can already see there's a little pull tab that says come inside. We open that up and we see the castle at the end of the labyrinth, right there in Jareth's <laughs> chest area. <laughs> so just push that back and it says turn left and right, go up and down. And if I just read the back, I might have to actually sit a little bit differently so that I can uh, read it <laughs> because in the camera it's backwards and I'm not that so it says, learn up, down, left, and right. Learn directions with Sarah, Hoggle, Ludo, and Pseudonymous as they solve the Goblin King's shape-shifting maze. And they're like shiny against the matte kind of background. I think I picked this up on Amazon for like a couple of pounds. I think it was like two pounds something. And the same for the Dark Crystal. And because they are children's books and I don't have young children, I will probably give them to uh, one of my friends. And basically, that's, yeah, I was thinking about like doing some kind of book fund because <laughs> it's all my money goes to is books for the channel because I always see things that I think you guys would love. But let's start. So. On the first page, it seems like it's written out like a poem. So, Sarah's young brother Toby is trapped in a maze that the Goblin King warns she'll be lost in for days. At the start, she tells Hoggle about her whole plight, then she enters the maze by the path on the right. And then we have a little pull tab which just shows her entering the maze. You can completely see the, uh, the light of my ring light. It's a really overcast day today outside, so I'm sorry if that bothers you. I like the animation on this, they look really cute, especially Hoggle. <laughs> so the next The strange rules of the maze change at every turn. Sarah does what she can to help make herself learn. One red arrow she drew that was marking the way was turned left by the goblins, which forced her to stay. So you see the little goblin is peeking out and he changes her arrow. How sneaky. <laughs> I'm sure in the movie, when they like lift it up with their heads and they like turn it round and he's like saying all this nonsensical stuff and then he's suddenly like your mother is a flaming aardvark <laughs> I'm sure that's what he says I watched that movie so many times it was my favourite growing up I watched it from when I was so so young I think it's like 1986 and I was born in 88 so 
it was definitely my go-to and then when I was older I used to watch it when I was sick like when I was ill so although funny story I always thought that Jareth whenever they said the word Jareth I thought they were saying Sheriff so <laughs> I always thought he was called Sheriff because you know he's like the king the leader of the town so it wasn't until I was like mid 20s maybe but I realized it was Jareth <laughs> okay so this page she sees Hoggle throughout the maze time and again then meets Ludo who's trapped by the goblin king's men and the big friendly giant with hair long and brown is so happy for help as they lower him down so you can see Sarah and Hoggle I don't know why they look so happy about it but I mean even Ludo looks pretty happy about the situation so maybe they're not understanding the gravity of the situation <laughs> have a little pull tab oh he barely he barely moves for some reason the wall also moves with him. <laughs> Couple more pages. A brave knight and his steed let them cross a foul trench so they all can escape from the eternal stench. Their first step on the bridge makes it all tumble down. Friendly rocks help them pass so they head off then we have Hoggle, Ludo, Sarah's not looking so happy now, uh, Sir Didymus and Ambrosius, and there is the Blog of Eternal Stench, and if we pull down this flap, there we go, Ludo's called his rock friend, and the last At the far side of town, Sarah now ends her race, going both up and down on a crazy staircase. Toby giggles and greets her, both filled with much glee, and she says to the king, You have no power over me. You have no power. So we have Jared. I feel like Jared looks really sly and like really do you know who he reminds me of? You know in, um, is it the Powerpuff Girls where there's like a devil, like a red Satan type character and he has the same, like, same kind of face. I don't know why he's so happy. So if we lift up the flap, there he is. And they've just turned his smile upside down. And Sarah's happy she has Toby back, even though she was the one to lose him in the first place. So that was that. I think that was really cute. I think it'd be really good for a kid, especially if you grew up in the 80s like me and you love Labyrinth and all of that kind of fantasy stuff. Um, but let's try Dark Crystal's Book of Opposites, Touch and Feel. Big and small, light and dark. And already we have Fizzgig and he has like a soft kind of Heart to him. It's like a um, fur, but really, really soft. And on the front, obviously, Jen and Kira, the Gelflings. And on the back, it says, Touch and feel the world of Thra. Is that what it was called? Thra? I don't remember that. Um, Learn opposites with Jen, Kira, and Fizzgig as the good gelflings work against the evil Skeksis to turn the dark crystal to light. I don't know about you, but this scared me as a kid. Like, the Skeksis, oh, the way they talk is so, so creepy. Oh, my nail's coming off. <laughs> okay, so. Let's start the book of opposites. So this one has less text than the other one, but it does have texture. So we have big, which is this Kexi. <laughs> it's just like a little hole. I'm trying to find it with my hand and I can find it. And then we have Fizzgig, who is small. He's no match for him. I mean, he's no match 
much for this cake. <laughs> and then we have low and high. And I think the texture on this one is the wings. So it's, it's like a kind of crystallized, a bit like a nail file, but not as coarse, more kind of shiny. And all of her wings, one, two, three, are made of this kind of texture. Next we have slow and fast. And I believe it's their cloaks that are textured on this page. So it's kind of like a, a velvet kind of effect. Can't really feel that one, it's too small. But yeah, kind of like a velvet. I guess I don't remember this film as well as I thought I did because I don't remember who these guys actually are. Are they bad guys or are they good guys? Or are they like a mode of transportation? I remember these, but I don't remember the green ones. Somebody tell me what they were. And then we have in and out. And the texture would be these kind of, what's it meant to be, like a plant hanging down? Ooh, I don't like that sound. It's kind of like a textured kind of plastic. It's not as gravelly as the other one, but it is kind of textured. Ooh, and my favourite page, dark and light. Of course, a foil. I don't know, can you hear that? Beautiful colour. I definitely prefer the look of the dark crystal. And then you have the light. This just makes a kind of board sound unless you use your actual fingers on it. And then it makes more of a kind of foil effect. It's like a foil, but like with super, super thin. But I definitely think the dark is nicer in colour. So yeah, that's it basically. They're kind of shiny on the back. And I just wanted to briefly share that with you. Tell me what you guys think about maybe setting up some kind of a book fund. Um, because it seems like page flipping is your favourite, or in terms of views anyway. But I've come to almost the end of my book collection now, so I'm kind of just buying things here and there. And then keeping most of them, but giving some away if they don't really fit my, you know, age range. <laughs> but I hope you're all doing really good, and I will see you all really soon. Bye.